from Eyewitness Sports, this is the Yorker Shoes Friday Night Blitz. Welcome into the Friday Night Blitz. I'm Mark Dondero, solo this week. Thanks for joining me. A big night over in, Co excuse me, at Sh Max Field for Shea as they opened up a new field prior to their game with North Kingstown and the black and silver seemed right at home on their new turf. Shea had outscored its D2 opponents by over 30 points a game. Skippers looking to rebound from their first league loss last week against Mount Hope. Shea started fast. This is Alonzo Welja taking the handoff and burning it down the sideline for the big game. The Raiders exploring every inch of their brand new field here as they go outside. Positive yardage and then Yannick Duarte is fed inside here, plunges over the goal line to give Shea the early lead, which turned into a 22-7 party on their new field Raiders win. The Huskies with a chance to leapfrog NK into second place, hosting Cherho. Cherho quarterback Pat Morkis here. Airmails this throw. And Mount Hopes, Jason Pompey takes advantage, making the interception. And that set up this. A little later, Vincent Barreto calling his own number. Not a bad plan here. Executes a little bit of a fake and then goes forward and into the end zone. Later, it's Barreto firing off a laser from the pocket. Check this out. And guess who he finds in the end zone? It's his man for another touchdown, 41 to seven. The final, Cherho gets it done. Central looking to keep hold on the third seed in D1B, hosting Tolman over at Conley for their homecoming. Fans are fired up, defensive battle early. Knights with the big takedown in the backfield, but Tolman offense eventually gets in gear. Justin Comanchek finds for the touchdown. Central responds there, that's good. Demetrius O'Connor. He takes the ensuing kickoff, dodges a couple defenders and is off to the races. That ties the game at six. A little later, more O'Connor. This time, Malik Montero finds O'Connor. It's gonna happen. Way down the field, Central improves four and zero oh with the 20 to six win. Four and two rather with the 20 to six win over Tolman. Now, weather doesn't affect basketball, but can impact football. Not usually, but sometimes it can. And a number of high school games were postponed due to the elements tonight. And that includes Hendrickson at Portsmouth, Rogers at LaSalle, South Kingstown at St. Ray's, the Juanita Sanchez Co-op and Smithfield game was also pushed back due to weather. And right now we're mic'd up with East Greenwich head coach, John George. Alex, where's the ball? Make sure we have regular. Pitch, pitch 59. Sorry. Sorry. Here we go. Hey, strong left, match 53. S strong Ray, S strong Ray, 2000 Ram. All right, so That's okay. I'll, I'll place, take the shot. Yeah. On the plays on the dive, they knew it was coming. But when the play How'd they know the dive jump? was coming? We haven't run it yet. No, no, because they, they slanted in. Okay, because well, they saw, but then when they're in gun, shouldn't we just do, um, not draw? Uh, draw yeah, about a gun? No, draw. We can do draw. Dive on the spot. I, I pit up. All right. No, no, no. The guy, the guy blitzed through. Hey. Draw would work. All right. All right. I'm okay with draw. I, I want to go. Uh, I want to take a shot here at, uh, at 200. Okay. Uh, we're just looking at the social media board here. Let's take a look at what we have. This is Tom Sheeran. Great work here. BFHS of 7 zip at Stang. Uh, we'll have highlights of that one a little later. Thanks, Tom. Dean's List, Tom. Max Reed Field watching Shea. North Kingstown, Shea won that game. And finally, WPRI 12, several tonight. That's nice. Listen, I want to just say that I am offended that Yanni Caracas, who is on paternity leave, didn't tweet in a picture of little Chip in a hashtag Blitz 12 onesie. Let's go, Jan. All right, make sure to post your pictures and updates next week using the hashtag Blitz 12. The Yoker Shoes Friday Night Blitz continues. They almost didn't play football tonight because of the weather down in Middletown. They eventually decided to give it a go, and the Islander faithful, faithful are glad they did, and frankly, so is this show given the content it produced. Playoff implications all over this matchup. Classical visiting fourth place Middletown. Winner would control their destiny in the race for the final D2B spot. Playoffs start with Classical knocking on the door. 
That's Tyrek Walker breaking through the line and scoring. Classical was on the board, but Middletown storm back. Watch this beautiful screen pass executed by Jared Neves, Jared Neves, and Mason Gilman. And Gilman just zigs and zags through the fog and the classical defense all the way for the huge Islander touchdown. Middletown grabbed the lead and their defense made it stand up. Classical trying to make a play deep here. It's coming up. They need something to happen. However, Devin Russ says no. He creates the turnover and Middletown will go on to outlast Classical 10-7 the final. In D2A, defending champs Moses Brown looking to stay unbeaten in league play, visiting Pilgrim. The rain arrived in time for Andy's games, but he captured this great defensive play. That's MB's Joseph Vicola picking off the Pilgrim pass. He regains his footing and then takes a shower all the way to the end zone, helping Moses Brown run away from Pilgrim by the final of 24 to nothing. Coventry hosting Tollgate in a non-league game in the rain. Start with Coventry's Tyler Pelletier. He's tough to tackle in this weather. Oh, just drags student athletes in for six. But back comes Tollgate. Anthony Vaughn keeps his feet here. He breaks tackles. Slippery. Dies for the end zone and gets there. But Coventry, they went on to win 32 to eight. Was the final in that one. Bishop Fian visiting Bishop Stang. Late in the game, Shamrocks jump ahead. Tim D'Ambrosia hands off to Peter Longo, who gets around the outside, makes a dive for the end zone and scores. Last chance for the Spartans now, but Thomas Razacott, he knows what to do. He knocks the ball down. And there you have it, Fian goes on the road and clips Stang 14 to 13. How about old Rochester visiting Durfee? Bulldogs in the red zone, they convert here. Cam Hamilton hands off to Harry Smith, the big fullback barrels his way into the end zone. ORR takes the early lead. A little later, they add to it. This time Hamilton hands off to Mike McAllister. He gets around the outside, dies for another score, do it. Hilltoppers would eventually get on the board in the middle of the pouring rain. Nick Salmon calls his own number, gets around the corner and he scores. But in the end, it was Old Rochester getting it done. 20 to 12, the final. We're out of time here on the Friday Night Blitz. Remember to check out our WPRI.com page to see everything you just saw again and extended highlights as well. And finally, we leave you with these sweet sounds of the old Rochester band. Enjoy. <laughs>